I've never been on a blind date before. This is gonna be new. Don't know what I'm walking into, you know. I'm feeling a mixture of nervous and excited. What if he doesn't like me? <laughs> I'm super excited, but I'm still nervous because I hope he's handsome. For those of us brave enough to take on the challenge of going on a blind date, we salute you. And for those doing it when their life is less ordinary than the average person, well, you deserve a medal. Especially when there's a chance that a unique quality might not be received in the most positive of lights. You know? No. Oh, as soon as he gets me alone, he's gonna strangle me! Okay. Here are five blind dates where personal revelations came in thick and fast and make for some unusual dating experiences all round. When tattoo artist Joshua heads out on a date, he's always aware of the fact that his second job has put off many previous dates. Usually when I tell them, if they're out the door, they're, they're gone, they're running, they're already at their car. I'm here to find somebody that's gonna accept my career and me for who I am. Will Joshua's date be able to handle the bombshell that's heading her way? My name is Shahad Elker. I am 26 years old and I'm Nectar. I just like someone that is a good person. I'm not too picky. Hey, how are you? I am well, how are you? Pretty good. Hi. Josh, Shahad. good to meet you. Nice to meet you as yeah, well. Yeah, good to meet you too. Very, very nervous, you know. Same, you same, know. sounds so. Not good with dates, so. Me neither, <laughs> me neither, so <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm a tattoo artist. Oh, yeah. nice, 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 nice. Well, what do you do besides um, tattoo art? Well, I'm also an actor. Nice. Um, but different kind of acting. Um, okay. I, uh, I work in the adult film industry. I'm so intrigued. Like, yeah. So how long have you been doing it now? Uh, about three and a half years. I like it because of the people that I work with. Uh, they're very like-minded. I enjoy just being on set. I enjoy being in front of the camera and, and creating something cool. Wow. So after Josh's porn star reveal, what did his date make of his unusual career? I was intrigued because it's just different, so I, I, I wanted to learn more. I still do want to learn a lot more. <laughs> but what about the all-important question? Do you think you'll see each other again? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I'm definitely going to hang out. All's well that ends well for these two. But the same can't really be said for our next dating duo. Natasha Crown shocked the world with her extreme body transformation and her lifelong quest. I'm going to have World's Biggest Bum, that's my goal, and I'm going to reach it. When I was 20 years old, I did my first surgery, and it was a BBL, Brazilian butt lift. And soon, I'm going to have my sixth. I've spent around $150,000. Today, Natasha is going on a blind date, but with looks like hers, how will her date react? It's scary for men. You have my personality, and then you have my, my body, and then you have everything on top of that. Taking on the Natasha challenge is 28-year-old Adam. The only thing I know about Natasha is that she's 27 years old. I hope I get the fun evening, and who knows what this can bring us. Hello. Hello, I'm Adam. For Wine Hello. <laughs> what do you want to drink? Maybe tequila, I don't know. Cheers. Cheers. With some Dutch courage in him, Adam's ready to find out about his date. What are you famous so for? I, I'm famous for my big bum. How do you get famous for that? You can be famous for everything. You can have three legs and be famous for that, you know? No. Okay. So tell me, what are you doing, like, your work? I'm a business owner, so I'm gonna have a, fit uh, have a fitness brand. Are you planning to make Anything else, or this is the thing like? I had my bum done for two, two months ago, and I'm going to <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> and I'm going to have another surgery in January. On? Um, Doing my bum again. I need to go to the bathroom, is that okay? That's okay. Can I be honest? Yeah, 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 of course. I'm in shock. I'm like a small town boy, and she's a city girl, and... Uh, they're from two different worlds, I guess. Better luck next time, Natasha. I had two, two high expectations on him and he didn't level up. My personality is like bam, 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 you know? Next up to take on her first ever blind date is Brianna. I'm kind of nervous because I've never been on a blind date. I'm like, oh, what if he doesn't like me? 
Brianna's unusual lifestyle has made it hard for her to find a relationship in the past. So today, I'm kind of nervous because, I don't know, I never feel like I have to impress people, but I kind of want to impress this guy. Will she manage to impress her date? My name is Miguel, I'm 23 and I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, I'm going on a blind date? I don't know nothing. Absolutely nothing. I think I typically look for somebody who can hold a conversation. My bar's very low. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bree. Miguel, nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you, Miguel. <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from LA. I'm born and oh, raised in LA. Really? Where are you from? LA? Yeah, that's cool. So what do you do for work? I'm a sugar baby. What does that mean? You know what? I understand what that means. I know you don't! Know. <laughs> I lie. Oh, tell me everything. How does that work? Like, are you so like dependent on sugar daddies? No, like I have my own hustle, but like they kind of provide my lifestyle to a, to a certain extent. Like they're the reason I'm so fabulous today. What is it that you provide? I'm literally like a professional girlfriend. But are you ever genuinely scared that you can get hurt? No. Wow. I get scared getting out of the parking lot. I'm not thinking, oh, as soon as he gets me alone, he's gonna strangle me. Okay. How does he know I'm not gonna kill him? How does he know I'm not the girl? So after all the dating revelations from Brianna, what did Miguel make of his unusual dating partner? How did it go today? Uh, it went so good. I hope it went good. The feeling is mutual. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, am I the worst? No, no, no. <laughs> I enjoyed every aspect of this blind date. Thank you for being my first blind date. Next up, a man who thought he would be the only surprise on his first ever blind date. My name is Tridante, otherwise known as Trey Nub. What it do, what it do, people, it's your boy Nub. Nub. I am known for making social media videos. I've been doing this for seven years. Dancing videos, funny videos. You're not supposed to be able to do that with no hands videos. I was born with no arms and one leg. There was no specific reason. There was no birth defect or no medicine went bad, none of that. I just came out this way. Getting ready for a blind date. This is my first one ever. I don't know what to expect. I'm gonna go with the flow, you know? But when his date arrived, she had more surprises in store for him than he did for her. My name is Razi. I'm 29 years old. I'm Aquarius. Only thing I know is he has some physical disability or something. I'm nervous. Hey. hey, what's going on? Hey. How you doing? I seen you before. You saw me before? I have. It's a possibility my blind date might know who I am. I've been viral in multiple different platforms. I definitely get a lot of attention when I go out in public. You saw me before? You was playing a drum. I was the drummer. <laughs> I'm chasing the goal. I'm serious about that. And I am so serious to the point where I don't let nothing or nobody deter me or keep me from that. I could learn from you. Could. So you don't got no kids, right? Mm-mm. Okay. I got two. Right. You say you want some more babies? Yeah, I do. You say babies. How many more kids you want? Probably two more. Two more? Probably two more. So four kids? Yeah. I do want to have kids. It's just... As of right now, the, the, the goals and the, the things that I'm chasing, it requires me to be going a lot. Yeah, and I understand I, it. And I always say, when I do become a dad, I want to be that dad that's there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like, hey, call your dad on FaceTime type shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? yeah, I understand like, that. That's cool, but I want to be there. Right, right. So how you like move around? How you do what you need to do? How you drink your water? Talented, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so what did this pair make of their setup? It was fun. I really thought, I was gonna come over here and be like, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> but no, it was cool. I had a good time for real. Finally, Clyde with a K is venturing out on a blind date with not the most positive of dating rap sheets. Dating can be really difficult when you're non-binary and a bearded woman at the same time. The response I got from dating apps was not good. Can this date turn around the bad experiences Clyde has had to go through in the past? Hey. Hi. Hi. Likewise. I'm Eli. I'm Clyde with a K. Hi, Clyde. I like your makeup. Thank you. I'm a little bit nervous. My hands are a little sweaty, but I'm so nervous. are mine. Really? <laughs> <laughs> What do you do for fun? I play lots of tabletop games. I just recently joined a D&D group on Sundays. Oh, very cool. My character is a 75-year-old woman who says stuff like, that boy ain't right. 
<laughs> I love that. That's great. Cheers. Cheers. So what has it been like to date as a non-binary bearded woman? I get a lot of people who fetishize my beard. Really? I originally identified as FTM, female to male, and I started testosterone. And now I identify as a non-binary bearded woman. I would say my confidence grew as my beard grew. So how did you feel when you first saw the beard? I wasn't expecting it, but um, it's not a big deal. Awesome. By the end of the date, what impression had these two made on one another? I think I would go on another date, yeah. I think so too. Yeah, I think I'd like to do this again. I think that would be fun. Being a bearded woman is just like dating anybody else. There just happens to be a beard there. So there you have it. When dating is different, it makes for some colorful experiences. <laughs>